In this clip, I talk about the recent Docker Run C vulnerability and patch and what you need to do about it. All right, so this week, a security vulnerability was announced with Run C. And it's a good time for us to talk about what is Run C and how does it relate to Docker, Kubernetes, and all the things. So, Run C has been around, well, really for a long, long time, almost near the beginning. And it is a component that is a part of not just Docker, but multiple container runtimes. And it's, it is the thing that runs your container. So, if you actually went on a machine that you had Docker installed on, the daemon itself, you know, a Linux machine, um, you would see when Docker D launches a container, you'll see other things starting up like Run C and Container D. And those two processes, Run C and Container D, are the parts that are running the container itself. And Docker D is sort of a management daemon that sits on top of all that, that just manages all the various containers and things running, right? If it's running Swarm, it's obviously managing the Swarm database, but it's keeping track of all the different containers. But each individual container is run through Run C and Container D. So Run C this week announced a vulnerability. Like all the other components in this space, it is an open source component that was listed in the CVE database, which I think we talked about two weeks ago. We talked about CVE scanning. And so it's not just Docker that's affected. Also LXC uh, is vulnerable. And the patch was announced at the same time that the vulnerability was. Actually, I think it was like the vulnerability was announced at uh, an hour early, and then the patch was available an hour later. This week, um, I believe where we're going to be seeing, I think it's next Monday or this coming Monday, is when we're going to start seeing actual code of how this vulnerability works, which means that we are not very far from people making exploits of this code. Now, in order for this to happen, you it has to be something where the code, the the, the bad player or the bad person that's going to do something to get this vulnerability and uh, use it for bad purposes is going to have to run their bad code inside your container as root. So it's already something that's assuming that they have access into the container itself and can run as the root process. And then from there, they can effectively um, affect, they can do some stuff through the Linux operating system to the run C binary and cause a problem. And that would them then let them later have code execution rights where they could sort of run their own thing as root on the host and sort of break out of the container. So the interesting thing is there's a really great rundown of this on the Kubernetes blog and talks about what is run C, what does the vulnerability really do, what should you do about it. Um, the short answer is, regardless of what you're running, you should just update to the latest run C. In most cases, if you're just running pure Docker, that means updating to 18.09.2. And that was released this week. And if you're on some other platform that's maybe not Docker-based, like Google Container Engine, or and you can see it like all these different uh, things here, they were actually a little um, vague about the Docker stuff because the Kubernetes blog didn't know specifically about whether your Docker desktop, the thing running on Mac and Windows, was vulnerable. And it turns out that is not. They were they were saying, however, it seems likely that it was vulnerable, but it actually turns out that it's not. The Docker team, which we, um, myself and the captains and the captains chat with them, were talking about it the other day. And it was mentioned that the way that your Docker for Mac and Docker for Windows works is that that little VM, that little Linux kit VM that runs in the background, it's running in read only. So there's no, there's actually no way for any files to be overwritten or, or even written to disk. So even if some bad actor were able to get somehow into the containers on your local machine and run code in that container, they're not going to be able to take over the Linux uh, kit VM. It's it's unfortunate that we don't have a lot of our servers running read-only because then that would really have prevented this bug. So the recommendation really is to just make sure that you're getting the latest run C. And in most cases, that either is updating the, you know, like your all your apt software, if you're installing things from apt, apt-get, yum, APK, all the package managers, or if you're running pure Docker, just update the Docker daemon. Uh, I do not know whether old versions of Docker are getting updated. I doubt um, anything past. If you're running Enterprise Edition, you get longer support. So if you are running the free versions of Docker, you just have to update to 18.09.2. 
if you're running some old free version, the community edition of Docker, you need to update to 18, 1809, sorry, 1809.2, not 1806. 1806 was the release last summer. Uh, that one pro- that one may or may not get updated, but it's only probably going to get updated for enterprise customers because the way that Docker works is if you you know if you want older releases, older stable releases to be updated past a certain date, I think it's uh, six months, you need to pay for that support. So it'll be their enterprise customers that get the old versions. If you're running the open source stuff, you just basically got to make sure you're on the latest stable release. All right. So that came out. I'm going to send these links and some of that info into the chat. And hopefully you've already got a process for how to update your servers. And, you know, in some cases you can estimate the risk of this and decide on your own team whether or not this is appropriate to rush out. Uh, You know, most big teams will look at a security vulnerability and label their own internal um, threat level, essentially, and that will help them decide how fast their teams need to react. For example, if you're in a case where all your containers are running read-only anyway, then maybe this isn't as huge a problem. Or maybe your containers are all running trusted code. So you do security sc- scanning and you uh, all the code and all the images that you're running, including ones from Docker Hub, you actually pull down, scan, and sign yourself. And then those go into production so that you know in production that every image is trusted code. If that's true for you, then this may be a low, lower vulnerability for you You because one of the things here is that it has to be running untrusted code in the root process of the container to even be a risk. So... Um, check that out, read that. It's really interesting stuff, even if you are not someone who's running Docker production, because I think learning a little bit about Run-C and how the under uh, underlying components of Docker r- work is an important thing. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to click subscribe and the notification bell if you want to know when I go live every week to talk about Docker and DevOps and take your questions. I also have other videos over here, or you could just go try to solve that Rubik's Cube you got at a conference last year.